Hey everybody, Dave from Mac Geek Cab here, and I am here today to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about the brand new Sonos Sub Mini. I know, it's, I'm stoked about this thing. We Sonos users have wanted this for a very long time, and now we can finally have it. It was announced a little while ago. Uh, you can get it, I think, starting next week, and the reviews are out now, which is why I'm able to finally tell you about it. And I'm going to do that here, and then I'm going to talk even more about it on Monday's show for Mac Geek Cab. So make sure to check out Monday's Mac Geek Cab to, uh, to hear kind of a, a deeper dive into this. For now, though, what I want to say is this thing has been fantastic. We've been using it at home for a little bit here. We've main, I've tested it in a bunch of rooms. It works really well, like you might imagine, in a smaller, like 10 by 10 room. But what really blew me away was how well it works in our living room. We've got a Sonos Arc in the living room with one of the original $749 subs. And th that delivers, quite frankly, it delivers more bass than we need. We have that thing dialed back quite a bit. So I was eager to try this out. Uh, this thing has been fantastic. It really does deliver in our room. I know Sonos might tell you that, uh, it, you know, it's built for smaller rooms. And it certainly is. But it works really well in a big living room. We've got a 15 by 25 living room. And the couch is at kind of one of the long ends. The TV is almost at the other. So we're like 20 feet away from the TV. When we've got this thing on, it sounds great. It's it's a full low end. They, the, you know, I mean, they're crazy there at, at Sonos, right? So they've got this acoustically sealed cabinet like they always do with two custom woofers that are aimed at each other to uh, to help like minimize buzz and rattle which is pretty cool, and it, it stands up on its own. Uh, I, we've been blown away with just how good this thing sounds, and you don't have to do it in the living room. In fact, you don't even have to do it with a pair of stereo speakers or a sound bar. You can pair this thing with pretty much any Sonos speaker that is plugged into power. It doesn't work with portable speakers. Uh, it doesn't work with some of the really old ones. You, you need the Sonos S2 app, you know, the, the standard Sonos app to, to use with it. But uh, but pretty much it, you know, you can pair it with just a single speaker if you want more low end out of out of what you're doing. I, we're like I said, we're blown away with it, and uh, you know, price wise, I think it's uh, like I said, it's it's uh, four twenty nine there. So uh, like it doesn't get much better than that. You got to go check it out and check it out at Sonos.com, of course, and then also check out Monday's Mac Geek Cab. John and I and Pete, I think I don't know if Pete's going to be here on Monday, but John and I certainly will talk more about it and. Uh, We'll see you there. Hey, do me a big favor. Don't get caught without one of these Sonos Sub Minis.